we going, man? You got the good stuff this time. You know, I was always a cigar guy. You're always the wine guy. You know, I, I know nothing about wine. You know, me and Janice, we always try to have these great dinners. You know, I make a mean steak. She makes some mad pasta. You got a pasta before. We always try to get good wine. You all right? Have you heard from Robbie? No, oh, why? I called him, but he didn't answer. Pete, something's wrong. Oh, nothing's wrong. Get your hands off him. Call him night time speed. What do you expect him to do? You yeah. know he's over there. No, you know he's over there doing quit, that deal. Quit being Mr. Cool, all right? Yeah. Something's obviously wrong. You just want him to just drop everything he's doing and just answer the phone for you? No, your attitude is never appropriate, ever. That's why you fuck up all the time. Okay, you know, you want to figure this out? Figure yeah, this out? I do want to figure you it out. You want to call him? Sure. You want to call him? Go call yeah, him. Yeah, I'll call him. to make you feel better. It'll, it'll make you feel better, actually. Like I said before, he's not answering. What are you doing? Changing my shirt. Why do you need to change your shirt? <laughs> Someone want to get blood on my nice shirt? Why would you get blood on your nice shirt? We'll go to Robbie's house. By the way, do you want to borrow a shirt? No, I don't want to borrow a shirt. I got a pretty nice shirt on right now. Why would I want a shirt from you? Did you get blood on that? No, there's no blood getting on this shirt. Okay, so you've done this before, right? Yeah, I've done it a hundred times before. Okay, let's just say hypothetically, you show up, things get messy, things go sideways, you're gonna get blood on that shirt, and then you're gonna be complaining to me. I'm not gonna be complaining. I'm gonna say I told you so. No, you're not. You know why? Because my blood's getting on this shirt because what? he's over there doing the deal. Deal with who? The the kid Cricket. You know Cricket. He's over yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's Louise's guy, right? Yeah, it's Lu Louise's guy. That's yeah. exactly right. <sighs> Look, I would just appreciate if you went to go check it out, alright? Please. You wanna check it out? Yes. We can go over there and check it out, just real quick. We're not even, we're not gonna do anything. Let's yeah. go over there and drive. Yes, in. please. Thank you. All right, let's go over there. Make sure you don't want a shirt. I don't want a fucking shirt. Let's go up to it. Knock on the fucking door. I 
answer you, man. If it's an answer, I'm gonna break the fucking door, you understand? You don't answer, break my fucking door. I think his throat was slit. Well, is he okay? I think he's dead. Oh, well, don't tell me that. Well, what do you want me to tell you then? Oh. Show me where Cricket lives. So this is the place? Yeah, that's it. So are we gonna go fucking in there, bust down the fucking door or what? <laughs> I think we should wait in here actually. <laughs> You're always fucking doing that, man. What are you fucking talking about? You're always fucking doing that. Doing what? You're being a fucking pussy. What are you fucking talking about? You're not even fucking Okay, here's the thing. You don't wanna fucking live life. You'd rather sit and where it's fucking safe, I'd you know it's safe. I'd rather fucking sit in here and live my life. You never want to leave your comfort zone. You don't even zone. know what the fuck is in there. You don't want to leave your fucking comfort zone. That's your, that's your number one issue. What are you talking this about? This is why I hate having you as my fucking partner. Are you fucking kidding me? Th that's your fucking issue. That's your biggest fucking we issue. We go in there and we're both fucking dead. We don't know what's waiting in there for us. I, I knew you were going to fucking do this. What the fuck do you mean I was going to do I this? I knew you were going to fucking do what this. What does that mean? You know, your fucking wife told me about this. You talk My fucking yeah, your wife. Fucking you wife. talked to my fucking yeah. wife. You told me all your friends. When did you fucking you're talk afraid to, her? to do all kinds of shit? When she was at my house what two weeks ago with you, we were drinking a couple. Two of weeks ago? Yeah, two what fucking weeks ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Two weeks ago? She she told me you're afraid of a bunch of shit. Man. A bunch? What yeah. the? What did she say? She told me you were afraid to eat her ass. That's him. Who? That's cricket. Fucking get him. Remember when I used to fight back in the day? Not at all. It wasn't anything big, right? Oh, yeah, you little, remember. little scraps here and there, right? Yeah, yeah, you remember I'd get in the ring and I'd be, I'd be bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. The only person would be bobbing and weaving is your dad. He'd always come and smack your head after practice. Wait, what? You remember? Oh, now you're gonna play the don't remember game. We right? the don't remember game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you, you do this, fight this, this every time. You do this every time. What do I do? The don't, you play the don't remember game. That's oh, because you're making up shit. What are you talking about? Uh, your mom remembers. Look at that. It's like who's awake. Yeah. Have a nice nap, Sleeping Beauty. What the fuck do you guys want? What do we want? Oh, man. 
Right. I offered you a shirt earlier, did I not? I said you could borrow it. I knew it was gonna get dirty. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. This is my favorite shirt. You know how much this shirt means to me. It's my favorite fucking shirt. Just, just take it easy, all right? I'll go talk to him. Calm down. God damn. When you get the chance, you're gonna apologize to my boy for ruining his shirt. This is my favorite fucking shirt! Anyways, they call you cricket, right? You wanna know something? I don't like crickets. They freak me out. I got a reputation of being a tough guy. When it comes to those little bugs, I can't stand them. Never been a fan of bugs. I see a bug, I squash it. Any bug that sets foot into my house is dead. But crickets are the worst. I hate them, I really do. They're oily, they're noisy, and they jump. They fucking jump. The only thing I hate more than a bug that jumps is a bug that flies. If we're talking about bugs that fly, we might as well be talking about grasshoppers. Fuck grasshoppers. I can't fucking stand them. But I also hate bugs that kill my friends. What happened tonight, huh? What happened to Robbie? Luis sent you? Luis is a trusted associate of ours. The deal was, you go to Robbie's house, get the drugs, then you give Robbie the money. Correct? Correct? Fucking look at me. Why is my friend dead? Let me ask you one more time. What are you shaking your head no for? What are you doing? We're gonna torture him.
Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I got a better idea. Hold on. Okay, just, just hold on. Man, what are you doing? Just, just, just trust me. You grab it, man. Hurry up. I have money. I have yes. I have money. Look, I have this car. You want this car? I can give you this car. You can have this car. I don't fucking need it. You can have this car. Uh, trust me. Robbie paid me well. Okay, Robbie paid me a shit ton of money, and I can give you a lot of money. You don't need to do this. You really don't get it, do you? Robbie? Robbie's not fucking dead. When you're back at the house. You didn't even check for a pulse, did you? Of course you didn't. Fucking amateurs. That's why I'm here in the first place. You know that? You're a threat to the family business, always have been. Robbie, he staged his own death. I mean, the same guy that's slipping you a paycheck paid me a shit ton of money to bring your heads in. I guess in hindsight, we both kind of got fucked, huh? And as far as things go, to think that you could bargain with me after everything you've done? Well, you could start by giving me back my fucking shoe. You think I want this? Looks like we need Jimmy to come over here and clean this up. Yeah, cheap cigar. Look at this. Cheap bodies. What about Janice? Poor Janice. You should have felt bad for Janice when he was alive. Help them idiots get you, Cricket. Sorry about it, man. Hey, Robbie.